G'day! In today's video, I'm having a look at the MSI Sword. And as you can see, we are the A15A11UE. Now this one I've purchased off, well, basically on special. And I was curious to see how good of a laptop this particular one will be. It's running a... Actually, I'm not too sure on the spec, so we'll find that out when I crack the box open. We have a much more gamery looking box inside the other box. We'll toss that one away. And here's what we see. All fairly plain, simple print. Now, and here we go, here's our specs. So we've got a 144 hz screen, IPS level, an i7-11800H, a 3060 6GB model, 512GB SSD, two 8 gig sticks totaling 16 gig, wireless LAN, Windows 10. So let's crack this open and see what we got inside. So looking inside, I'm left slightly disappointed as I'm almost dead certain I did pay for the white edition. To me, this definitely is looking black. So I definitely will be having a bit of a chat with the distributor. As you can see, we have a bit of a honeycomb style of design on the back here. So you can see quite a few of the components in there. I'm not sure if you guys can on your angle. Check that out. Definitely see some copper. Opening it up. To me, it doesn't look like a dramatic redesign from the MSI GF65. A bit more smoother plastic they've used on this one as opposed to the other models. I'm curious if these will be speaker vents at the top here, if they're just simply air vents. We have a nice subtle MSI logo along the bottom here. Overall, the design of it is very familiar, very similar with the, their other models. Looking along here, USB, Type-C, HDMI, headphone jack, do have a dedicated Ethernet on here. Flipping around the other side, what do we have? Air vent. What looks to be a slightly smaller, more proprietary style of power. And we have USB 3.2, I'm assuming, and what looks to be a USB 2. Along the back, we have some decent fan holes here. And the weird thing is, they're not actually filled in. So we'll just zoom you guys in on that. Where are we? There you go, let's go. Let's have a look along here. I'm actually touching the copper itself, or the, at least the fins of the copper cooler. So that is a bit different. I would have expected that to be filled in a little bit more. As I can definitely see you being a bit prone to um, essentially, let's say, accidentally push some stuff on the desk. You'd be definitely bending those fins. Moving along here. Where are we? I'm losing you guys, sorry. Looking along here, we have these feet protruding. Right here. Let's have a look. Here, 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 here. Here and here. So they're elevated a little bit high. So that is a bit different. I'm not sure if that's to stop any sag of the plastic or to hold it a bit better. But we'll be opening this up a bit later to have a look. Just at a quick glance, we do have a matte, matte kind of texture on here. So hopefully you guys can see that on the, on the camera. But the texture itself, and a bit more of a subtle logo up here that doesn't light up or anything. So, I'm not, I think I'm actually liking the cheaper plasticky look compared to the MSR, uh, the GF65 fin that I had that had a brushed aluminium kind of feel to it, which definitely scratched up very easy. So. Let's see what else we have here anyway. Typical manual. What else do we see? What do we get inside the box? Charging. AU plug. And here we have a bit more of a Dell or HP looking connection compared to what it was on the previous versions. 
So the plug itself, just a round barrel, single pin, similar to just most HPs that I'm used to seeing. And power-wise, what are we using here? We are a 180 watt charger, 20 volt, 9 amp. So not bad. And down the line, I'll have a few more benchmarks on this. We'll be checking out crypto on it. We'll be checking out various games, Cyberpunk, Counter-Strike, Battlefield 1, uh, possibly Doom as well. And I will be also be going through the battery life and a few other different aspects of this laptop. So keep an eye on those for the future. And anyway, that will conclude the unboxing of the MSI Sword 15. Bye.